hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, in this video i am showing some of the this is one of the office building so how we can fix some lights over here and how to do the wiring first of all we just need to take the lighting so here the work set is lighting so just go to the system then from here you can select the lighting fixtures so i'll have one lighting fixture over here so just uh, we just need to place that one on place on face or otherwise you can choose a work plane base also so i will place one light over here in this part so fix about that one and another one i can fix here so we'll check the elevation is correct or not just go to the 3d view so it is in the floor so just check, check this uh, uh, ceiling option it will come up over there or not so maybe it was not there so what we can do we just need to uh, move to the ceiling this one so we can select here one light okay for example i'm just uh, giving one light over here and what we can do this is right now in the floor okay so just uh, need to fix it in the ceiling so this is a simple method so what we can do we just go to the work plane edit and pick a plane click ok and then select the ceiling base so it will fix in the ceiling but it was why, why it was not showing it is not flex uh, not flipped so you can just flip it this one so you can see the clearly you can see the uh, light fixer in the ceiling so that fixer is come up over here so then then what we need to do actually we can do one thing we just need to go here and we just need to uh, sorry uh, just need to select this one move to the ceiling and flip it over here so it was in the ceiling uh, right now so if you look at in the uh, plan so you can see clearly see the that was in the ceiling so then what we need to do we just need to arrange the lights okay for example we can fix one light over here for this table and another one we can fix it over here in the center of uh, this one or otherwise we will place one over here in this table so that will distribute over here and copy this one from here you can copy it and just place another one over here so maybe there will be no ceiling that is what error is showing so if you can check there uh, see there is no ceilings so we will fix another lights over there otherwise you just need to fix it in the slab that one so anyway we just need to put in in the ceiling only so just need to move this one up to the uh, ceiling just move it from the control arrow right key you can move it that one so you can fix fix that things okay then what is the next one like uh, uh, we just need to we just need to flip this one actually just uh, we need to flip it that one so you can see clearly in the ceiling it was fixing so flip it like this so this is the small exercise only so this one also you can flip it and this one also you can flip it okay so then you can see the light fixer come up over here then we just need to copy this one and pick, pick the grip point from here and we just need to paste it over here paste it over here and uh, you can place like this so wherever you need you can place it so i just need to copy one more and i just need to paste over here that much light is come up over here and here we can give some other lights so for that you just go to here and we just need to change some other kind of lights uh, for example i am just choosing d1 so i am fixing one light over here and we just need to go to the section and just go to here go to different different way, way uh, we can um, select this one and i am going to find so you can see the light is in the floor so just need to go to the uh, fix it in the slab we can fix it in the slab this one you can uh, go like this and fix it in the model over here so like that you can fix it that one so just uh, go to here and go to the 3d so you can see the light was fixed over there so that area you can choose the this light with a specific distance for example i am starting from here then copy it and you just need to give us uh, some dimensions 2500 something like that you can give it and uh, just uh, copy it again and just center and just uh, do it like this because it's a column so you cannot place over here so we can place it here 
copy then uh, you just need to place little more or one more here so you can choose this specific distance and then you can place it over wherever you required so i'll i'll place some lights over here in the in this way so all will be fixed it over there so you can easily place the light like this and same thing if you need to uh, do the uh, same exercise over in the next room so copy this one you can place it in the in exactly over here and here also you can place it and here also place it this is simple one exercise so you can do the exact calculations as, as per the exact calculations you can do the, uh, the things like this as uh, placing the slides so once you place a light li the light like this just go to the 3d view and look at how it's work so you can see uh, some was some lights was in not in the uh, ceiling so you can um, uh, you can adjust it as per the as per the ceiling coordination so okay you can so, so you can just adjust that one so it will come up over there so clearly you can see the light fixes are here and if you give to shaded i will just give a wireframe and you can see this one clearly you can see the light how the light fixer is coming and fixing over there the same we can uh, put different kind of uh, uh, light fixes over here or here a anywhere you can place it as per the dimensions uh, like this way you can place it okay so the he actually here we, we don't want to uh, this this kind of lights okay you can just remove that one and place it another uh, kind of lights also for example go to the lighting fixer and you just need to select other kind of lights for example i'm just choosing this one so you can uh, you can use wherever we require the spot lights or ceiling mounted lights you can place it so once once you done this one so we we just need to copy one more here and we just need to place one lights over here in this room and in this room and here in this room and here also you can place two lights maybe it's in the meeting room something like that so you can place that one so the placement of light you can as per the dialex calculations you can follow so just place like this and uh, even maybe here is no ceiling that is what it, uh, it is showing like that if you look in the 3d you can give the shaded view also how it uh, works and you can extend up to the uh, uh, bottom view and uh, everything so you can go to the realistic view also you can see how it's work see the light fixes are here uh, like that okay so then then what we need to do we just need to connect the light okay so the my main uh, purpose uh, we need to connect the with the power power level go to here electrical equipment and here you can just get the uh, lighting panel so i am just placing the lighting lighting panel over here um, just placing we just need to place somewhere for example back, back, this this is the vertical face okay so just need to place that one over here so you can place it that one so if you need some lcp panel or, or something like that or that also you can um, find the family and you can just replace the lcp panel also here so if you look in the 3d how it's look so lcp and db we fix it over here so once once that uh, that is done means so you can uh, you can go for um, wiring so we'll just uh, look at how it's uh, work it so already we have some cabinets over here so we can place this one so i'm just for the practice i am just giving uh, this one over here okay so then what we need to do we just need to connect our lights to this one so for that for example you just need to connect this much lights over here so you can give the different filters for the different lights and everything so if you need uh, some kind of filter so you can do it that one so for example i am just selecting this much line light in a one circuit so just i just need to select this one and you can give the power from here see it was showing over here and here you drop down you will be get a, a panel so i'm just i'm not doing that one right now so i need to give some panel names over here so for that we just need to go here uh, we just need to give a panel name over here so i'm just giving lighting panel ldb zero one for example this is the first floor so just i am giving L ldb this one 
and the, the same things for the LCP also. A panel name LCP dot zero one FF like that. And if you give the tag for this one, so you can give the tag. If you don't want this leader, so you can give the uh, tag like this. Otherwise, you can give the with the leader also. You can give the uh, uh, tag like this. Okay. So just to arrange the, arrange as per your standard. So just arrange it like this. Stretch it like that. And you go to the edit type, and you just need to drop down, and you can give the arrow size whichever uh, arrow head you need. You can uh, give the uh, arrow head and everything from the, from this one, and tag it this one also. Just make it like this. Okay. So once done, uh, once that one done, you can uh, just to give the some color for the light fixes. So I'm just trying to give some color. Uh, for example, I'm just giving a blue for this one. So all, all colors will become uh, blue. I'm just giving that one. Yeah. So all the color will become up, uh, different. Different color you can give as per the filter method. So right now I'm just keeping that one and just I am giving one circuit for this one. So just give a power, and you choose here. So already you can see that uh, uh, DB name showing up over here. So just select that one. So you al already it is showing there, right? So just uh, select like that. And once it's gone, just select the uh, DB, then tab it, select the DB, select the DB and tab, then you can give the wire also. So if you need chamfer type wire, so you can give that one. So it is coming like that. And the, for the wire also, you can give VV and just to go to this, uh, uh, from here, you can get the wire from here. You can give the wire color also which type of line type you can using okay, you can is easily give that one for example i'm using magenta and i'm giving a line weight also like this so that will appear over here and then this this light for these three lights i need to give another circuit same and give a uh, this select the panel so this is the panel arc where i'm giving here so you can easily give the arc where also here and for this lights also same thing same process i am selecting this one this much lights in the one circuit just go here and just give an a uh, um, chamfer type wire so it will connect it like this so e this three six light different connection i am giving like a uh, arc wire so that will that that is work also so here three lights are there power already selected the panel so it will come up over here same process for this all so you can select it all and just uh, as per the load calculation you can arrange it but i'm just sh showing the for your um, turning purpose so here also you can give the power and this one and you can put the switches also over here uh, for example if you need to uh, give a switches for this one so you can uh, get, get the switches from here lighting switches so you can uh, give it otherwise if you have uh, some families so you can load it also that one uh, for example i if you have something like uh, like uh, family you can load from the uh, where where you kept it that one so you can load it that one uh, families and everything so just go to here a uh, family two and i have something like uh, this much this one this one this one i'm just uh, loading that one so if you have a family then you can uh, load the switch also so go to the system tab and then go to the switch then you can see here different kind of two way switches and everything so the, in the both side they can access the <coughs> access that one if you want if you want to provide two way so you can give it that one another one if, if you want uh, like a four gang or one gang you can give it like that two gang and everything you can give the same way okay so for this for example this is the uh, one way uh, one one gang switch one way switch so you can give that one for example this room if you need okay so you just uh, need to give a one switch over here and then select the light and just select the switch and you can um, select the switch from here so automatically it will connect it like this like that so for example if you if you need to give this this all in a one switch like uh, go to filter and i'm um, just uh, unchecking the wire go here and select the switch and if you want to uh, give a switch on this one select it so you can see this switch will be controlled all the lights 
so this is the way we giving the circuits uh, means the wiring and everything for example same things for here so just select the lights go to power and give this one so automatically that will connect it to the panel and here also you can give the same exercise power for, for example chamfered if you want to give give it that one and here also like uh, you can give the chamfered wire like that so all all, all all will be come upon in the in that dv so if you, here also like that then you can give the circuit numbers also for example tag this one so it is showing like l1 uh, so, sorry it is showing like l1 just select this one i am just uh, unchecking the leader so just go here so it is why it is showing l1 okay so now we just need to edit this one edit the family and it is showing circuits only okay no issue then we can give add the family also here uh, panel panel also here or oh, just go to here pa add the panel and after that you can just give a slash over here or dash anything if you want anything so you can give that one for example i am just giving a slash click ok and i am stretching this one up to here load into the project override that one yes so that will come but we need here r1 l1 something like that right so for that we just type es for electrical settings and go to the general and here you can change that one r for, for example capital at r and y and b so that is clear then come up over here so automatically uh, it will come to one r right now then what we need how we can get the r1 like that so that what we need to do we just need to select the panel first and go to here down you, you can see here circuit naming so from that you just need to select this one by face so what will happen automatically that will change to r1 so if you go to here and give a tag like this tag you can give so it will show y1 and this one to y2 and another one this one b1 this one r2 so automatically that will create this one b2 this one is r3 and this one is y4 this one is y3 and this one i can give a b3 and you can move it also these things uh, up and down also from the load schedule okay that is the way we are giving the circuit numbers and everything in in 3d also you can see how it's look you can see the uh, that one in the 3d how it's how it's work and everything you can see it from here shaded and uh, just go to the line width uh, and everything you can go here and give a wire hidden lines or oh, sorry wireframe you can see clearly how it's look so this is the method this is all totally for new learners and go here in the uh, select the uh, select the db and uh, create a schedule panel schedule default so you will be get a automatically you can get the some um, the the db schedules and loads also from here and uh, this is the method for creating the lights and everything in a, in in rivet so a lot of videos i did it and i just did a, some uh, some more practice on the, uh, this i uh, just do some practice on this way and uh, if you need any comments or something like that requirement just contact me i will uh, give some suggestions and everything Thanks for watching. Thank you.